Hello everyone. Welcome to the Data Structures video lecture stream. In this series of lectures, we are going to cover uh, almost all the topics related to the data structures. The prerequisite for uh, going into this lecture series is knowledge in C programming because uh, we are going to implement the data structures, various data structures in uh, C programming only. Uh, now let us come to the topic. The question is what is a data structure? We can define a data structure like this. Data structure is nothing but organizing of data needed to solve some problem. Right? Now I will let you know uh, what is a data structure with some examples. Let me take some example here. So uh, I have a requirement like this. I want to store uh, names of the students and their corresponding percentages. Okay. So after storing those data in mem uh, memory, what will I do usually? If I want a, a topper, okay, I will write some logic and I, whenever I apply that logic on that data, I'll get the topper name. If I want some set of students based on uh, the requirements, okay, for, for example, uh, the students who have above 70% marks, okay, are eligible for placements, let us assume that. Okay, so I want data of those people. I can apply some logic on that data and get those details. Okay, so this is called a data structure. Let me take a weather forecasting or weather report, whatever. Okay, so I have a weather data like a temperature, wind speed, uh, precipitation, etc. Okay, so that data is stored in memory now. And uh, if you Google for, uh, let us say, uh, weather in Telangana, this data can be uh, displayed. Precipitation 80%, humidity 89%, wind 80, 18 kilometers per hour. But these three values were not the values already available in the storage. These are the values calculated with the da available data. Okay, we will retrieve that data, apply some process on that, I mean some function on that, so that we will get the precipitation, current precipitation, current humidity, current wind speed, etc. Okay, so this is called a data structure. We have stored all the weather details in the memory and applied some logic on that and got some result. Okay, so we are storing data in memory, keeping that what process we are going to apply on that. Okay, in mind. Otherwise, uh, the uh, the process will be difficult and the algorithms you are implementing on that data will be uh, uh, no inefficient if you do not keep how to store data in memory in the mind. Okay, it would be you no know, useless program. That is why data structures will help you to store data in memory in an organized way in order to solve the problems. 